All right, let me ask you this then. What uh -huh. are you doing to improve your voc vocabulary and get rid of the ums? Mm -hmm. I think. I think. You know what I mean? Yeah. Bro. If, mm -hmm. So uh, I feel like just keep practicing more this and then seeing myself record, right? But my, like, but myself. Like, but I feel like you have to do something. Mm -hmm. You can't just talk and then listen. I, I know you can tell what you need to fix, but. Mm -hmm. Like, what is it that you are doing to improve it? Uh, like, for example, I seen an app on on TikTok. Mm -hmm. It was like an ad where it was promoting a, this app to, to, to improve your vocabulary. Yeah. Like, replace words that you mm -hmm. use for better ones. Or uh -huh. Yeah, so. I'll, I'll probably need to do some of that. But no, not really, bro. If anything, I'd just be listening to podcasts, bro, more than anything. Yeah. And just listen, 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 and then... Just, yeah, try to not say, um, ah, uh, yeah. bruh, bruh, but, I mean, but, yeah, but, but, you know, you know, you know, <laughs> so, yeah, bro, what are, what are you doing, just the app, bro, what, what does the app do to help you improve it? It's like, it, I mean, honestly, I haven't even downloaded it, mm -hmm. but that's why I was asking you if you've done anything, because I haven't done shit, and, like, I seen that app on my mm -hmm. phone, and I'm like, damn, I should download it. Yeah, no. And I it does it, yeah, so it's for example, instead of using a lot, it gives you another word to where it sounds much better. more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just to improve your vocabulary. That's mm -hmm. the whole. To not sound ghetto and raggedy goal. as fuck. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get your point across. Yeah, bro. I really don't do much, bro, to like truly fix it. Besides, just going over these, going over these. Yeah. So much where I just listen to myself so much and I just crit self criticize. Like in a good way, I don't like self criticize. Like you're fucking retard. You yeah. gotta stop saying that, you dumb motherfucker. You know, I feel like talking to yourself so negatively like that, bro, is not gonna help you improve. It's just gonna probably like lower your your you're gonna lower your own self esteem at that yeah. point. You know, but you have to do something about it. You can't mm -hmm. just like not do nothing. Mm -hmm. For example, I've heard reading also. Oh yeah, that does help a lot. Can help. Yeah, reading. but I hate reading so hey, much, bro. But, but I, I just love listening do. to audio bowls. But I, I should get on to some reading, but it's so hard. And, bro, the only reading we do is when we're scrolling on, tin and on Tinder, on TikTok, bro. Yeah. And it's fucking bad grammar, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's people that just talk any, like us. Yeah, any, so. any fucking retard that just says some crazy wild shit. Yeah, I've been thinking about reading books or just Googling how to improve your vocabulary, mm -hmm. how to get your point across. Yeah. Without being all over the place, which I feel like I have a problem with. Mm -hmm. I'm all over the place every time I'm trying to tell someone something, like a story that happened or just anything. Uh huh. Like I'm so bad at storytelling. Storytelling, yeah. It's bad, bad. Mm hmm. Is, it, is, it, is that because of the vocal fillers and then the um, um, or. That's part of it. Wh wh what do you think you have a, har a harder struggle on telling a story? Just describing things, mm -hmm. like just how it happened, the details, the details and stuff. Yeah. I feel like when I, I'm i telling a story, there's not like a clear picture. Mm -hmm. it's like people are kind of lost when I... Yeah. When yeah. I'll be like saying something, so... Uh-huh. But I mean, I mean, I feel like all that is takes time in improving your vocabulary and actually practicing and listening and to yourself. We're doing this as well. Like mm -hmm. We're doing this, trying to listen to ourselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro. I feel like this is part of it. For sure. Do you do you listen to the whole episode, bro, or sometimes just part no, of it, I'd depending on? I listen to all of them. Yeah. Yeah, completely. Even mm -hmm. like when I'm at home or like, cuando me acuerdo. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah, bro. It's like I, I just be listening to them when I'm editing them, uh -huh. and then when I'm, when I'm uh, at a clip of the video, right? I just go to the video on the YouTube, and mm -hmm. I'll just put it full screen and re screen record it, screen record like five minutes. And then, and then I'll just kind of keep scrolling on the best parts, but that's as much as I, I listen to them. But I just try to find the best moments that we had in the podcast that I'm like, all right, this should be good on a clip. Yeah. But uh, even all that is, I feel like that also helps me criticize myself more, just because I'm literally on repeat on that episode I like, or on that clip, just repeat and repeat. I'm like, is this really good? Is this really good quality? Yeah. But yeah, bro. Yeah, it does take time, bro. It takes a long time. And it's, it's not going to be overnight, bro. It's going to take 
months up to mm-hmm. years bro to truly have a really fluent vocabulary where it sounds pretty professional it's yeah it's but like mm-hmm. it's gonna take time mm-hmm. yeah bro uh, are, are you sad bro why do i look sad no i'm just, just asking you bro, if <laughs> there's anything if there's anything bro you can talk to me bro <laughs> uh, no i'm not sad <laughs> not sad bro what do you think about these pussies that are depressed <laughs> <laughs> depression <laughs> is a choice no i'm just kidding <laughs> depression is a thing it's like it's like instead of saying sad as fuck, <laughs> it's like depression, you know? Depression. <laughs> I feel like that got that word got too overused. Definitely. You know, it, it got so overused to the point where, like, people, like, if you're truly, truly sad, like, just really sad, mm-hmm. but it's like you can still go go out and you yeah. can still move and go to school you're even though working. you're feeling like a piece of shit or something. Um, It's, I don't know, people call that depression. It shouldn't be. Shouldn't yeah, be. or just maybe any inconvenience in their life, or like it's just, or like you know when life ain't going your way, like thing after thing just happens, mm-hmm. and it feels like, like damn, why me? Yeah. And some people are just more weak-minded, mm-hmm. so that could be one thing. Mm-hmm. To where it's like, damn, I don't know. See. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know how to get like I know what I want to say but I can't but then you say can't it. truly f- put it out fully right yeah yeah that's good bro that's good keep keep practicing that I think right I think I think depression is just temporary right and then just because it takes you know a certain time to truly heal from whatever trauma or experience or breakup or whatever yeah. now I feel like in th- there's certain type of depressions. Mm-hmm. Right, and that's that's what I was. One of my clients was telling me because he 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 goes to the doctor and gets prescribed. You know, does he? Uh, I don't know if it's depression or or anxiety. Uh-huh. Right. So all right. Either way, but he uh, he told me there was um certain de- depressions. I, I I don't really understand it just because I haven't really been depressed right yeah. we've all been sad we've all had we've all went through some fucked up shit and but that shouldn't mean that i'm always gonna cause some stuff like that depression yeah you ready bro he's up bro um <laughs> and i don't know bro but it's like when i don't know it's like i feel like it depends truly on the individual how they they try to express or or not express or like kind of like co cooperate with their trauma mm-hmm. because i feel like in a sense everyone has went through some trauma you know if that's being with a death of a parent or a death of a loved one or family or problems. a breakup of family problems neglection there's a thousand, thousand things there's a thousand things right but it, i feel like this thing depression it has gone to the point where it's like you can fix it you can really fix it, but you can't fix it with medications and and just getting doped up and yeah, no. and not doing shit about it. Mm-hmm. So, you know, if you think that should be like the last option, mm-hmm. taking meds. Well, for sure, that should be the very last option. Mm-hmm. But what about like schizophrenic people? Like, how do we fix? Those? No, but hold up. Like then again, like mm-hmm. people don't promote the other stuff that might help you get out of there. Oh, yeah, they don't get out of that mm-hmm. hole. Like the easy way is pills. Mm-hmm. Nobody says like try to eat healthier, do healthy habits mm-hmm. like exercising, things mm-hmm. that are good for your body health wise. Mm-hmm. Like start doing that. Like well, it I, might, I th- huh? Yeah, it might uh, it might help. Mm-hmm. Up with everyone's different. Yeah, I feel like some doctors do say, "Hey, bro, you're overweight. You gotta do this and that." But it, I feel like it's in the individual that wouldn't want to change those certain type of patterns, mm-hmm. right? Just because, I don't know, they didn't really get educated on, hey, bro, you got to eat these, these, and then this is going to get you fat as shit, and all these snacks are going to fucking get you all bloated. Yeah. Right? And all of that contributes to the fact that if you don't change those habits, you're going to still be feeling like shit. Yeah. Just not going to the gym makes you feel like shit. Tell me not. You stop going to the gym for two or three days, you're like, fuck, dude, I'm slacking. I'm not feeling that good. Or like good when you go to mentally. the gym, you feel good. Mm-hmm. You feel good going to the gym. I feel like you don't feel good going to the gym, but once you're at the gym, you just got to do it. 
Yeah. Like driving to the gym, sometimes you're like, ah, oh, kind of don't want to do this, but. Don't you feel good after, like, you're done with your workout, though? For sure, for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like an accomplishment. Mm-hmm. Like, I did it. Yeah. For sure. What about for people who have gone, like, raped? What do you think if... Yeah, it's tough. If those those traumas have have been and so severe where <coughs> they can't really... Get you know, over it? Mm-hmm, get over it. And, I don't know, I mean... Or, like, just, like, an alcoholic family, uh, very abusive... I mean, personally, like, what I've seen in our culture, like, Mexi- Mexicans, we don't really know how to ask for help mm-hmm. or seek for help when then l- our parents, like, grew up way different than mm-hmm. us. Like, in their time, that didn't exist, No, bro. depression was not a fucking thing. That wasn't a thing. So yeah, like, you were depressed? Shut the fuck up. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. so that doesn't exist. Like, that whole, the whole mental health mm-hmm. doesn't really exist, let's be honest. Like, mm-hmm. in, at least in our culture... Mm-hmm. and um so it's hard to because people do go through things and you can't expect him expect them to just get over it like like mm-hmm. a rape yeah or for sure. s- just trauma like that mm-hmm. but um pues, there's only one thing you can do bro like work on yourself like try talking therapist whatever it is mm-hmm. like the, try all those there's so many options like now like mm-hmm. there's so much help out there that i feel mm-hmm. s- people don't know but then again we go back like people don't know how to ask for help seek for help mm-hmm. but there's a million things you can you can do to hopefully heal that mm-hmm. but it's, it's like yeah. it's gonna be like it's gonna be a scar it's, it's gonna be hard mm-hmm. but that's life man like life ain't fair fuck no it's not fair bro. you didn't choose that you know mm-hmm. you didn't choose your parents you didn't especially like if it happened as like when you were little like just mm-hmm. things you couldn't control yeah so that's that's tough but but not as, as, there's as nothing say, bro, else life you can is do. not fair yeah. yeah life is not fair it's not fair you didn't choose your parents mm-hmm. but like are you gonna keep on being shitty like like if destroying like yourself if, um, self-destruction and stuff yeah. like that so I don't know. Mhm. So what about let's say a kid, right? He's all fucking sorts of fucked up. He's going through puberty. Yeah. Right. And then he's like, "Oh, I'm not comfortable with my body. I'm, I'm, I don't feel like I should be in this body. I feel like maybe just because they are in, in, uh, they had really like low attention when they were young. They were like, oh, maybe I just want to be a girl. Right. You really don't know what the fuck you're talking about, right? But then schools are promoting that shit and then doctors are just gonna be doping you up with fucking drugs it's a business mm, it's it's a business bro it's a business and and that's why i said it's like sorry if you you know sorry if i offend some of y'all but i feel like you know trans you know people in that are trans is kind of turning into a cult now because it's if you really talk about it it's gonna be something that supposedly is kind of like a taboo if you're not in that in that group, right? I, I, it always takes me back to the GameStop dude. <laughs> it's like, bro, like, why is calling you a certain pronoun that is not according to your gender gonna offend you? That much, you know? I, I don't know. I just don't. They, they, none of that makes fucking sense whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, not all of them, but. I think it just comes to they they always try to make everything about themselves. Mm-hmm. It's always about them, them, them. It's like having a a uh, like a kid that you give everything to, mm-hmm. and it's always un niño chiple. How do you say it in English? A spoiled brat. A spoiled yeah. It's like a yeah. spoiled kid uh-huh. almost. Like they want everything to be about them. Like they want their own. Sh- I guess they want their own bathroom. Like they want their own. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. That's kind of a uh, narcissistic. Yeah. But so. uh, but obviously going back to that, right? So, so they do all these crazy transitions. Doctors dope them, dope them up with all these antidepressants. Mm-hmm. Ultimately, that depression supposedly would get worse. Right. It would get worse, and then supposedly that's why like eighty percent of trans people mm-hmm. are depressed, and twenty of them commit suicide. Yeah. It's like that's shocking. So it's. It's insane how these, these all these political controversies where that I'm pretty sure they could be all fixed through having a good education about health and 
exercising regular exercise yeah or regulating all that just like alcohol Mm -hmm. or any other drug like but why why are they um like already installing these thoughts into kids Mm -hmm. it's like you're not gonna tell a kid uh, like oh if you want to drink a beer then go drink a beer like why not Mm -hmm. if that's how you feel then that's how you feel like Mm -hmm. it does not make sense Mm mm-hmm yeah especially dealing with like a gender like mm -hmm. oh for sure for sure come on man but you were saying something and i had a crazy thought is like but i lost my train of thought fuck Uh, what did i say i remember i'm (laughs) but i was gonna add on to that i was gonna be like i was gonna contra i was gonna have a a certain type of argument against that but i totally lost my train of thought right there um make about everything about themselves mm mm-hmm but it Oh yeah, yeah. So about drugs, so oh. so I feel like I don't I don't think drugs should be limited. I because th- Im- imagine if drugs were all legal, they I feel like then that would make a, make it be very regulated for the people that are gonna consume it, right? Because even if let's say every drug's illegal, right, and then everything is legal, right, then that's gonna make more criminals, don't you think? It's gonna have more criminals. And it's going to have more people locked up in, in jail and stuff like that just because of that illegal substance that could be perhaps alcohol. Yeah. I, I think alcohol should be ba- like banned because alcohol and benzos are the only two drugs that are going to kill you if you're f- truly addicted to them. And if yeah. you get off of them, like cold, cold turkey, those are the only ones that are going to kill you, bro. Damn, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I heard that from Jordan Peterson. Mm. So, I don't know. Like I feel like alcohol in itself it's such a big component to the the um, development of a family in itself because imagine i'm an alcoholic and i'm fucking beating my girl and you know neglecting my daughter or some shit then that's gonna just distort them completely you know it's gonna affect them if especially the baby and her development yeah but who but the i fuck think it knows? goes I think it goes way back to working on yourself Mm -hmm. because you need to work on yourself. You can't pour from an empty cup. Mm -hmm. So like, let's say you are, you do have that problem and then you do decide to have a family and all that, like before even working on yourself, Mm -hmm. but now you're dealing with all these problems and now you have all these responsibilities that you're dealing with. So now it's even harder. So now it's more likely that, you do follow that path like just maybe being an alcoholic or a drug addict or whatever it is Mm -hmm. so i think just going back to the foundation on yourself like the whole loving yourself Mm -hmm. thing, like working on yourself Mm -hmm. so (laughs) so uh, let me let me ask you right let me ask you this how what if let's say there's some dude that thinks he's all fucking depressed can't get out of bed how do you think you could help him get out of bed and and (coughs) and get motivated right what do you think that could help them change Mm, for for them to work on themselves start by um controlling what you put in your mouth Mm -hmm. what you're eating the sleep you're like how much like are you staying up all night Mm -hmm. and now you don't want to wake up all day like now you just want to sleep all day Mm -hmm. because there's people like that Mm -hmm. don't want to even want to work so it just goes back to the basics like just Mm -hmm. health like what are you eating are you having enough sleep are you exercising Um, Mm -hmm. are you like do you have i don't know the whole job thing no but but yeah that yeah Uh, job start by doing that eating Mm -hmm. good and exercising i think you feel way much better Mm mm-hmm yeah, bro. But if that doesn't work, then it's like, fuck, plus you got a neck pick. Everyone's different, so but I think that's a good start. Mm-hmm. And then from there, try to try to add exercise at least, yeah, I mean, you know, a couple, one or two times a week. Yeah. And then slowly every keep day, adding man. it, yeah. Shut yeah, ultimately to, to have it every day. Yeah. I don't know. I feel, like, I feel like what motivated us to go to the gym for three months in a row was that bet, bro. Yeah. It was that bad because that shit was like, oh, fuck, I don't want to fucking lose this money. Now, if we extended it, <laughs> which is the last extension, last yeah. month. We can't be whining about who won the money, you know? <laughs> but, um. 
Tony. Tony. <laughs> Tony Trumps. <laughs> no, um, Tony says he thinks that he won, but I'm like, who Javi do you think? could have won too. Yeah. I think either you two could have taken it. Uh huh. But then again, it's like it's not a clear winner. Mm hmm. And I think it's better if there's a clear winner, mm -hmm. like a drastic where I'm like, where yeah. everyone's like, yeah, he won. Yeah. Because either me, I could have said either you or Tony. Same thing with Trumpies. Uh huh. Trumpies thinks he won. But, he like, same thing. Well, I, so I think, uh -huh. like, any, because, yeah. So, what, what if what if we don't see, again, results drastically oh from no. this month? This, that ain't gonna happen. That ain't gonna happen, bro? That ain't gonna happen. Yeah, I'm gonna smoke y'all? I'm gonna make sure that doesn't happen. Uh, but even uh, but bro i remember you were eating a shit ton of ca calories and bro what happened bro? everyone's <laughs> body is different bro like my body's a fucking it's a metabolism m machine bro yeah it's a fucking metabolism machine bro like i'm not even lying like it's fucking hard to get up there do you think you would have if you if you could consume wait wait how much ca uh, calories you're supposed to consume like six thousand no it's like four or five thousand yeah that's hard <laughs> that's fucking hard bro that's a shit ton of food hey mm -hmm. you're lucky you can eat whatever the fuck you want dude i can't i have to be very very careful yeah uh, if i'll cheat like f for a quick snack all right this is the last snack i can eat right mm -hmm. but hey bro what what are you gonna do after the bed though i'm gonna keep on going because i mean she feels better i'm not gonna be right? yeah for that and um i want to wear shorts bro like shorts I think that's my goal. I mm -hmm. want to wear shorts. Yeah. And feel comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, my chi got chicken legs. Yeah, I just want to lose the mantids. Yeah. <laughs> the pointy ones. Uh, yeah, you look <laughs> good. You feel good. Yeah, exactly, right? So. And I also want to. You want to go out more. You want to socialize more. Yeah. You want to meet more myself. people. Exactly, bro. Yeah. And that I feel like no matter how fucking sad you're feeling, how sh depressed you're feeling, try to just hit the gym once once a day for you 30 think minutes more clear too you do th you if bro that's mentally and physically it just benefits you a hundred times yeah but but i was like that's what the problem with these pharmaceutical companies it's like none of them <laughs> tell you hey man and you should stop taking this you should try to work out nah it nah it's all profit it's healthy, all profit yeah. it's all profit bro it's all money it's money business. money here yeah hell yeah bro all right let me ask you a question last one because I have yeah. an appointment. Oh yeah. Oh, oh you have an appointment right now? The chumpies. Oh yup. Um have you had a um, big trauma growing up? Damn, that's a good ass question, bro. But no. No. <laughs> <coughs> I no? think I've Crazy fire and you got hit in the head too hard or some shit. Or Yeah, or like I'm thinking maybe like seeing my parents Begging? go through some oh. shit. <laughs> Oh, oh. Yeah, like trauma right yeah yeah like a trauma like trauma can be anything mm -hmm. maybe like i got raped maybe or some shit but no did you <laughs> i didn't you sure no like honestly i think my childhood was pretty good my, my parents uh, i never really s saw them argue or mm -hmm. like at least in front of us so they probably i think i had it pretty good growing up mm -hmm. but um uh, the times where i did feel like a little sad was when we moved to mexico really yeah like because we used to live here mm -hmm. and then yeah man that shit was that shit was not easy i think i was like 10 or 11 uh -huh. what was the hardest part about the transition just leaving here bro. leaving it yeah, and like because like, you know all the my cousins that come here yeah like we growing up together mm -hmm. like i would see them we would hang out and play wait why they move back my dad your dad didn't yeah. didn't like it here. Didn't like it here. People were too racist here, or no, he fixed papers, mm -hmm. and then went to Mexico. We went on vacation. What? And then uh -huh. I think he just liked it and said like, nah, like nah, the soy. Really? So we went to Mexico, bro, and I was fucking sad. And then they, I was also hurt because they always told me that they were gonna, we were gonna come back. Uh huh. But like that's like the saddest. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, you're like, what? This is my home. As a kid, yeah, because this is your. Like, home, why right? are we leaving? You know, like mm -hmm. it's, I like it here. I tell you, I my friends, all my cousins. Mm -hmm. Um, damn, bro. And then wait, when did what you come back? You, 
Wait, I right. just, bro, I gotta fucking show me wants to leave already. Okay, bro, right. we need a, th- bro, this is another good topic. Mm-hmm. It is. Wait, I actually did have some trauma when I was a child. One was when I got shot. And then, and I remember one time my brother and his friends, they were fucking fighting and they were throwing rocks at each other. Yeah. And then one just, boom, me escalabro, eh. Damn. Fucking just I was fucking bleeding all crazy in there. You thought you were gonna paramedics. die. I was, you know, I was crying like a little kid. <laughs> yeah. I thought I was dying because the paramedics came and then yeah. they were fucking putting like I don't know but that, stitches. That, that ain't really trauma. No, that's not trauma, right? That's not trauma. But um, I felt like I was neglected as a kid by my mom, mm. you know. And especially, I feel like a big impact is like really not growing up with with my dad and being in the picture, right? See. You know, growing up there in Mexico. Uh-huh. Then once I came here, then I, you know, kind of built a relationship with my dad more, and so on. So. But I feel like that was a pretty big, big part. But it's because you know we always see my mom with you know different tools and shit, and then yeah. she was always wanting to go out, and then I was always with my grandma, mm-hmm. and I would wanted to spend time with my mom. But I don't know. I feel like and I bet you had like all these questions as a kid. Mm-hmm. Like, damn, like why? I mean, yeah, no, seriously. And then now I think about it, and, and then then I get those flashbacks. And I'm like, oh, that's why she would leave. Or like, oh, she had to work. Sense. Yeah, like, we're adults. We got to work and then provide. And then we can't really see our kids when we're working too much. Yeah. And I feel like that's a part of it. But also a big, a big change. I don't know. I feel like that's why I have so much of a drive. I, f- I feel like it's because I didn't grow up with, with, my, with a dad, you know, like so in the picture when I was a, a baby, you know, for, since I was in Mexico. And I don't know, for some reason, I mean, some people... I feel like say that oh yeah I didn't have a dad so I'm gonna be a piece of shit. Yeah. But nah nah you're supposed to be better. Better. Yeah. Better, bro. You I feel like that should motivate people to be better. But no nah, no nah, um, I feel like some a lot of times when people oh yeah I'm depressed for this and that that's just an excuse, bro. It's just an excuse and then it's an easy car to shit, pull yeah. out. Ultimately well, it gets we need to continue this combo. Mhm. Because yeah, I do have some yeah. questions in mind. Yeah for sure, bro. We will stay tuned for part two of uh depression is a choice you fucking pussies <laughs> get the fuck up out of bed and yeah, we out depression is a real thing but yeah no nah, it is a real thing but you can also get out of it that card expires it expires bro all right he's out